Yeah, I'm dead. Well, we don't have to. I want to. Okay. <laughs> I'll shuffle them real good. Fine. You went first last time. How about me this time? Okay. Okay, Ginger, you're up. Okay, uh, can I get a letter for what game? T. Stop. Okay. Is it stop? That's it. Okay, John, over you last word. You know the drill. I'll show you a letter. S. Stop, shape, shape out. Is it shaped for the chain? No, okay, forward back to you. Alex, you know the drill. The letter is I. Sign. It's just what I need. Is it sign for the chain? <coughs> well done, bowlers. That's our chain. Supercomputer, computer game, game stop, stop, sign, sign up. Okay, because you completed that chain, you'll get to play our last speed chain of the day. You can win another $300 if you connect the word district with the word motors. Your seven seconds begin when your letters are Rummy. Oh, mercy. Oh, it's 30, 40, 55 points you caught me with. I only got 35, but... Yeah, but you won. <laughs> enough to win one. I think you might have got half of it, right? Let's see. That was a quick hand. Huh? That was a quick hand. Yeah, we'll have to play another one. Okay. So you don't know how how big you were when you were born? No. You don't know what you weighed? No. No, none of us were weighed. We didn't have a scale. <laughs> just had you right there at home and just kept on going. Yeah. Wow. Probably had you in a house that didn't even have running water, did it? No, it didn't. We had a well. Electricity? Huh? Electricity? Uh, for a while we didn't have. But then we got electric, so then we could get a refrigerator. Wow. Before that... We had to keep our food in the cellar. It was down under the smokehouse. Hey, we had a rough. Sounds like it. Back on that farm. <laughs> Outside toilet. How many of you are living in that one little house? Uh, How many of you are living right there in that one little house? <laughs> Well, I think we we still lived there when Linda was born, because I remember they took Mom off the hill in the sled, and uh, my uncle Carl took Mom to the hospital. Was this in the winter? Uh, Linda was born on February the fourth. Oh, so her birthday is tomorrow. Yeah. So it was all snowy when she was born. Yeah. 
took her off the hill in a sled. Yeah. Wow. Where was the nearest hospital? Sutton. Gas away. Really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, we lived like a mile back on the hill. Your dad had a car, though, didn't he? He had, like, a truck or something. No. He didn't. No, my Uncle Carl, he had a car, and he came and picked Mom up and took her to the hospital. Wow. Who's first? You? You can go first. How did you kids get to school down off the hill? Did you just walk? We, we walked down off the hill and waited, and the bus picked us up. And the other kids you went to school with, did they have more than you, or did they, were they? No. Oh. Did they have it rough, too? Well, everybody didn't have it as rough as we did. Really? Yeah. Oh. Uh, No, most, most everybody went to school, lived right there in Ivydale. What county is Ivydale in? Clay County. It is? Yeah. How far is it from where, where Grandma Rose lived at the end of her life, her house that we all knew that I went to and everything? Mm -hmm. How far away was that from Ivydale? Oh, that was only about the mile and a half, two miles. Really? Yeah, it was pretty close. Wow. Uh, I don't think I've ever been to the hill where you were, where you lived when you were a little girl. You probably haven't. Got to go up there sometime. <laughs> well, the cemetery's back there on the hill. Close to where your house used to be? <clears throat> well, it's, yeah, it's on the part of the farm. Yeah. Uh, I think Kenny maybe goes up there to the cemetery in a Jeep. Oh. You can drive a Jeep up there. I seem to remember they took you and your sisters up there one time in the back of a pickup truck or something. Yeah, probably was a Jeep. Yeah. I put the two down. Okay. Last game I had six 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 and this game I got seven seven seven. You know. <coughs> When you were born, you were the youngest because they already had, you had half siblings from your dad's previous marriage, right? Yeah, Richard and Doy. Richard and Doy. So they, I had. Did they still live there at the house? Or were they already grown up and moved out? Oh, no. They, had, they were by dad's first marriage. Right. They were I just already, didn't know how much older they were. They than were you. already grown. They were. Yeah. Um, I think Richard was in the, I think they both were in the Navy. During World War II? I don't remember. <laughs> yeah.
That's just what young boys uh, did back then. When they got old enough, they go into service because didn't have a job or anything. Right. Yeah. And that was the best way to be able to go to college and stuff like that. Yeah. Is to get on the GI Bill. <laughs> I hope you don't have a jack. <laughs> I don't. I don't have a discard. I can't run me. Okay. I'm just going to fix this one. Ace two. Only for a three. Mm -hmm. Ace two. Ace queen two. Yeah. If you had a king. King and a jack. Mm -hmm. There's your rummy. There's two dimes. Yeah. Well, caught me it. with 20, so I broke even. <coughs> I got 30. 50, 70. You beat me. <laughs> Is there anything else you remember about living in living up on the hill? Did it get real, real cold in your house in the winter? Yeah. Yeah, we had a, a cold stove in the living room. And that's the only heat there was. And How many people slept in each room? Oh, well, <clears throat> Mom's bedroom had two beds in it, two double beds. And some of us younger ones would sleep with Mom in her bed, and then the others would sleep in that. Dad had a bedroom by himself. He did? Yeah, clear across the... Like, here was Mom's bedroom, and then there was the living room, and then Dad's bedroom, and then the kitchen. Hmm. But, uh, anyway, nobody slept with Dad. <laughs> did he snore, or did he just wanted to be alone? I don't know. He just slept by himself. And then mom's uh, bedroom had two beds in it. Later on, dad built two more rooms onto the end of the house and a porch. Wow. So then there was- Did he build that whole house by himself? Well, I don't know about the first part, but I know the second part those two bedrooms, one of them had a single bed. And I remember Jim, my brother Jim, had that room. And the other room had a double bed and it had a couple girls in it. And there was a hall went between those two bedrooms and a porch on the end. That sounds nice. <laughs> Sounds like he was a handy, handy fella. Well, he probably had some help. What did he grow on his farm? Corn, hay. There was two apple orchards. How many acres did he have? I think it was 79 acres. Wow. That's a good sized farm. Yeah. But he growed uh, potatoes and corn, 
and had those two uh, orchard, apple orchards back on the hill, and he'd sell apples. He'd make molasses in the fall and sell, take a uh, sled load of apples down to uh, Ivydale and sell them. Yeah. I bet all you kids had to help out on the farm, didn't you? We all had a job to do. <laughs> and Mom had a hard life. I remember hoeing corn. <laughs> Tromping a haystack when Dad would put make haystacks in the wow. fall. All kinds of stuff we wouldn't know how to do today. Right, right. Yeah, we had a hard life back here. And Mom, see, Mom was from New Jersey, a city girl. How'd she end up down there on this farm? Well, her mother ran off with a man and went to um, um, Akron, Ohio. And that's where Dad met Mom. Uh, uh, wow. The man she ran off with had a, a boarding house, and uh, <laughs> Dad was staying there. That's how he met Mom. Wow. What year would that have been? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> if you were their first child together. No, I wasn't. You weren't? No. I uh, Buck. Robert and Jim. I forgot. And between those two was a girl baby that died. Her name was Iris. Wow. So mom had Bunk, Iris, and Jim. Jim. So you were the four. And then me. And then, <laughs> and then there was. Betty, <laughs> Sharon, <laughs> and uh, Violet, and Sharon, Linda, and Linda, and Rocky. Oh, Rock! Um, he can He's ten years younger than me. Um, he came in before Linda. So Rock, she. Rock and then Linda. What did she have? Ten kids. Is that ten? Now, let's see. Jim, Bunk, Iris. Buck, Iris, Jim, me, you. Betty, Violet, Sharon, Sharon, Linda, Linda, and Rock. Oh, uh, Rocky and then Linda. That's nine. Nine. Plus, she. When she married Dad, she already had Richard and Doy. They were just little boys. His Dad's first wife died. She had some kind of a female infection. Wow. So it was all boys for a while. Yeah. I'm sure they worked on the farm. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> and they all passed away young? Richard and Doy and Jim and Bunk, all four of them? Yeah. And Iris died as a baby. Yeah, Bunk died of a heart attack. He was working down at Dixie next to Gully Bridge and he had a heart attack and they took him to the hospital and whatever they did to his heart, it exploded. And he died. How old was he? I don't remember. Did he have a family? Was he married? He was married, but he didn't have any kids. Jim was killed in a car wreck. 
And he was married and had three kids. Wow. What about Richard and Doy? <clears throat> um, Doy uh, was uh, in a car wreck. He was thrown out and against a, a bank with rocks. His head hit the rocks and he killed him. Was that his legal name? Did it say Doy on his birth certificate or was that a nickname? No, that's his name. D-O-Y-L-E. Doyle. Doyle. Yeah, we just called him Doy. Gotcha. Richard uh, came up missing at the, uh, at sea. Fell off the ship he was on. He was in the Navy. Yeah. They don't think he committed suicide, do they? No. No, they think maybe he had a heart attack and fell off the ship. Wow. Sharon, uh, she had cancer, died of cancer. I remember I went to her funeral. <clears throat> Rocky's had cancer a couple times, hasn't he? I, I think he had colon cancer. They operated. Hey. Still living. Yeah. He's there at Summersville, I think. <coughs> yeah. Well, that, that old hillside must have made some tough old people. <laughs> You're still going. <laughs> I don't know for how long. No. Uh, what are you? 61? <laughs> I wish. <laughs> I, I'm 85 going on 86. I'd say you got another 80 or 85 left in you. You think? <laughs> uh.